Jason Hippocrit Estrada, the reason why you are in my office right now is because your annual IEP meeting is happening today. I am also allowing your new therapist, social worker, and guidance counselor to attend your meeting, and your case manager will also be joining the meeting. No fucking way. I'm so not attending my stupid IEP meeting. I'd rather attend a meeting where I can defend Mrs. Clementine and support her. Mr. Fowler, you are not going to do my stupid shitty IEP meeting. Excuse me? Jason Hippocrit Estrada, do not talk to me like that. And also, no. You are going to your IP meeting and that is final. Now please follow me to the troublemaker office or else I will have Dominic the Vienter and Diego Garcia donate you to Wendy's. Welcome to Jason Hippocrit Estrada's annual IEP meeting. Today is Thursday, October 24, 2024. Let's begin the meeting by introducing ourselves. I will begin. I am Josh Fowler, the principal of Go City Academy. Elizabeth Keating, superintendent of Go City Academy. Gary Williams, assistant principal of Go City Academy. Aaron Costello, Jason Hippocrit Estrada's current hammering teacher. Joey Aloro Garuso. Jason Hippocrit Estrada's new case manager. Jireg Pearson, Jason Hippocrit Estrada's new therapist. Jackie Danner, Jason Hippocrit Estrada's new social worker. Jane Holper, Jason Hippocrit Estrada's new appointed guidance counselor. Marissa Govea, Jason Hippocrit Estrada's new dean. Gabriel Miller, Jason Hippocrit Estrada's mother. Jason Hippocrit Estrada, it's your turn, say your name right now and who you are. Jason Hippocrit Estrada, student. And finally, Jake Anderson, Jason Hippocrit Estrada's father. Thank you. Now that we have introduced ourselves, let's go over how much trouble Jason Hippocrit Estrada has caused here at Go City Academy. We will also discuss his goals for the remainder of his time here at Go City Academy. And I know it's a long time from now, but we have to discuss it right now. I will begin. According to the notes in his IEP, Jason Hippocrit Estrada claims his main goal is to do a lot of bad, inappropriate, and abusive stuff at this school. From what I know, he defended Sonia Hippocrit Clementine during her trial, said that he feels bad that she is on trial, told Mrs. Garza that he needed to do the disgusting food metaphors, and threatened to call security on Mrs. Kenny. Dr. Keating, please explain what Jason Hippocrit Estrada has done in his first few years here at Go City Academy. Okay. From what I know... He got tired when told to do the exercises, peed in the pool, asked Mrs. Garso if he can go to the bar and drink beer, vaped in her classroom, and said that she should rather get life in prison with or without parole. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Mr. Williams, your turn. Please explain what Jason Hippocrit Estrada has done. All right. From what I know, he wanted Sonia Hippocrit Clementine to be his partner, told the teachers to reduce the questions and extend the time, beat up Mr. Willett got all of his Kahoot questions incorrect, and told Mrs. Kenny to give him and the classmates her money. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Mr. Costello. You are next. All right. I expect Jason Hippocrit Estrada to have a respectful attitude toward me and the students. It is to be respectful to his partners and whoever he sits next to. He will be having lunch bunch with me every single day, and he will never be allowed to go outside for recess for the remainder of his time here at Go City Academy. Thank you, Mrs. Laurel Grusso. Since you are Jason Hippocrit Estrada's new case manager, please explain what you expect Jason Hippocrit Estrada to do with you. Okay. Jason Hippocrit Estrada will be having seminar class up until he dies. I am required to be his seminar teacher up until he dies. He will be required to work on homework in this class, and if he does not do any homework, as he is required to, he will have 100 points taken off his grade and he will automatically fail. And finally, he will be required to fill out a sheet every single day to prove that he did do his homework, and if he doesn't fill that out, or if he does not do homework, another 100 points will be taken off his grade. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. You are next. Okay. I expect Jason Hippocrit Estrada to be on his best behavior. If he is not on his best behavior, he will be meeting with me once a week to improve his behavior. He will be required to bring money to pay for the lunch ladies to bring him food into the juvenile detention room for his lunch bunch. And he will be required to wear a school uniform to school every day, since that is the dress code at Go City Academy, and he must adhere it. Thank you, Mrs. Danner. Please speak. Okay. 
Jason Hippocrit Estrada is to meet with me for 10 minutes during seminar once a week to talk about his expectations for each week. He is required to take the MAP test at the start of each semester. He is required to meet with me in the months of November and April for the classes he is required to take. And he will have to meet with me once a month to discuss what I can do to make him smarter. Thank you, Mrs. Holper. Your turn. All right. I will be required to be by Jason Hippocrit Estrada's side every single day during the school day, during lunch bunch, and whenever he gets on and off the school bus at the start and end of each school day. I will have to monitor him whenever he takes the MAP test, PSAT test, SAT test, and any other test he is required to take. I will have to read each question to him when he takes his test, and most importantly, when he uses his locker. I will have to help him unlock it. Thank you, Mrs. Govalia. Go ahead. Okay. As I am Jason Hippocrit Estrada's new dean, I am required to give his parents a call every time he gets sent to my office for any reason. He will be required to tell me exactly why he is in my office and what he did. And lastly, I will be required to give him a slip for whenever he is assigned to be in juvenile detention. Thank you. Jake and Gabriella, how does everything we just went over sound? I think this is a great plan for Jason Hippocrit Estrada. This is going to teach him a lesson. Good. And also, when Jason Hippocrit Estrada graduates from Go City Academy, he will not be accepting his diploma right after graduating from his senior year of high school. Why you may ask? Well, Dr. Keating, Mr. Williams, Mrs. Laura Grusso, Mrs. Danner, Mrs. Holper, and I have decided that after he graduates from his senior year, he will be participating in the Go City Academy Transition Program, and he will never be allowed to accept his diploma, as he will be put into the transition program until he turns 100 years old or if he dies, and he will be put on school arrest up until Tuesday, October 19, 2049, and if he violates his time on school arrest, he will remain on school arrest until Wednesday, January 17, 2008. How does all of it sound? That sounds like a great plan. The transition program and school arrest will give him a better life during school and after graduation. Okay, we have reached the end of the meeting. Jason Hippocrit Estrada, please walk with Mrs. Laura Grusso and Mrs. Holper to the juvenile detention room. Mrs. Laura Grusso and Mrs. Holper, please get him out of his seat and bring him to the juvenile detention room immediately. I will be there in a few minutes. Shut up, Jason Hippocrit Estrada. Nobody wants to hear your selfish ass cry all day long. Anyway, this meeting is now dismissed.